Yes. Sure. Good morning, everyone. Session will start within five minutes. Hello. Hi, ma'am. Good morning. Yeah, okay. we'll start within five. Okay, thank you. Thank you.
Good morning. Anusha online and as well as Satish, I think so. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Satish. Doing? Good for you. I am good. I am good. Thank you. Yeah, today we have four members or two people on online. Two of seems less participants today. Sorry, seems less participants. I expected more than ten, but only four are there as of now. Yeah. Okay. Shall we wait for some time, or shall we start? Yeah, we we'll start. Okay. Maybe we'll on Sunday mode. Not sure. <laughs> Cyber yeah, security. Yeah. People are not interested or what? Yes. Yes. Maybe forget. <laughs> Yeah, okay. we can start. Yeah. Can we start uh, offline people introduction? Almost okay. Uh, what we are expecting is that uh, your name, your educational background, and what you are expecting from the course. Uh, my name is Muhammad Bashir, and I'm currently trying to be so I don't have any idea about this school. My friends are calling me, so I get into it. It is all wise. Okay. Good. Good. Next. Okay. Almost done. Idea is done. Okay. Idea is done. Okay. Yeah. Coming to online, Anusha, please. Introduce yourself. Good morning, sir. My name is Anusha. I have done master's in finance stream. Uh, I'm not sure about what exactly the course is. So get the awareness of the session. I join this. Okay. Finance means you're working somewhere or uh, MCOM? MBA. MBA. Okay, you're working somewhere? Yeah, I'm working as an accountant in a private organization. Okay. Santosh? Satish. Yeah, Satish. Uh, hi, sir. Hi, hi everyone. Good, good morning. I'm presenting to you. Uh, I did my uh, MSc, MSc in CS, and uh, working for Cognizant as a lead. Uh, see, I'm interested in this cyber uh, related things because I did uh, law, LLB, I completed my LLB and I have gone through uh, different acts in that one. So uh, I want to put that uh, 
law whatever i studied into the it experience whatever i am carrying and moved forward so that uh, so I, i i am interested in these fields so that might help me and came to join this uh, training today to know more Good about books. the cyber security things great to hear santosh p yes sir good morning uh, i currently work for bank of america as a team developer uh, previously i've been part of excelitics uh, it's been I think 3 years back i i have to the advanced excel sessions uh, currently i'm looking for a change so uh, i just wanted to to be aware of this cyber security that's why i'm the part of this session Srinivas H. Uh, hi, sir. Good morning. Uh, good morning, everyone. My name. So, I am working current. Uh, currently, I am working with PwC as a IT auditor, information system auditor. So, cyber security is one of the domain which is very close to this. Uh, currently, what I am performing. Uh, so, I just want to abreast with the knowledge of cyber security and the current market availabilities with this course and uh, cope up with. Uh, required skills to the existing organization and the future organizations okay are you cisa or uh, C, uh, is for 27000 yeah i am a cisa cisa a candidate uh, as well as uh, i am a ca so these two things so you have cisa also sorry dis also you have no no dis i didn't apply uh, cisa is an uh, ic like uh, which is a uh, quite large larger than uh, dis okay yeah Oh, good good to see one 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 from the related field <laughs> thank you thanks <clears throat> okay uh, 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 i am shrinivas busarpu i am uh, having more than 20 plus years of experience in information and cyber security i work with the uh, uh, national uh, 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 financial uh, sector uh, it's like uh, pension fund regulatory development authority of india as well as insurance regulatory development authority of india national payments corporation of india and in coming to the uh, uh, mnc point of view i work with the ge also as a global exchange service for 36 countries i uh, had been into various uh, uh, technologies along with cyber security uh, uh, i am a iso 27001 lead auditor cisa csm uh, i am also one of the, uh, the doctorate in information and cyber security Uh, especially cyber resilience and assurance have been written more than <clears throat> 20 policy for government of india for various sectors including reserve bank of india insurance regulatory ministry of finance ministry of uh, electronics uh, etc so had been reviewed more than 56 insurance companies which are uh, having for uh, 20 lakh crores of uh, policies so their uh, policy writing reviewing auditing of that along with uh, various payment systems like upi all most of the payments has been designed and audited by my team and myself i am i'm one of the core member in that so uh, I, as a part of that i am also published more than 20 research papers in information and cyber security so this is brief about myself i am also part of various international committees like international organization pension supervisors for 36 countries and uh, g20 world bank and uh, undp U- unesco and various things so i was part of all this uh, to render for the information and cyber security in addition to that uh, i was part of uh, Uh, uh malaysian electronic payment system and monetary authority of singapore that is equal to reserve bank of india in india uh, to integrate 20 countries upi and their security concepts so as a part of that we are reviewing lot of security controls in the uh, cross border payment zones <laughs> so this is a brief about myself i also reviewed uh, Uh, big force uh, cyber security policies and big po- force uh, audit policies uh, in banking insurance and s- security markets and e governance so coming to today's program um, good to see more uh, many are non related people are there but uh, 
people are uh, saying that uh, we want portion some part and uh, something we want to lean ethical hacking we want some part in uh, uh, legal point of view law point of view doesn't work for you if you are in that way no need to join this course if you want to attend end to end course then only you will understand this is not bits and pieces you should understand end to end of the cyber security then only you can solve because it's not like like java it's not like a blockchain or it's not like any other technology we should have to know end to end of the technology then only we can we can secure the organization's cyber uh, uh, assets so that's where uh, we should understand end to end point of view whether it is policies procedures technologies and in that multiple technologies whether it is java based applications mobile based applications uh, infrastructure like uh, cloud infrastructures ansibles so whatever it is so we should have to understand end to end it's not uh, bits and pieces learn the things properly and uh, uh, do it so this is a uh, brief about the thing and uh, coming to today's demo uh, i have seen one expert from the a pwc so good to see that so cisa only auditing part of you in order to help the a auditor uh, in the vapt that is vulnerability assessment and penetration testing in the application prospective because if you enter into in a, any of the organizations prospective you will find thousands of applications so each and every application will have its own technology right from uh, various databases various applications various tech stacks full stacks whatever it is so that's why always we should have to update even today also every day I'll, i am going to update myself if not updated so i mean to say that we are obsolete and updated that's all in the cyber security environment <coughs> every day you will face lot of challenges at product level as well as service level applications level so where is application server where is database server where is windows environment where is endpoint level, where is antivirus level, where is firewall level. So we should have to understand at every point of uh, the thing. Uh, once we build the base on that, uh, I, I think I've seen two people from the pharmacy sector. Recently, we, we have seen one of the attack in the granules one, granules pharmacy. So a lot of compromise. Uh, the penalty was more than 10 crores because the, the endpoint has been compromised. The formulations has been compromised. So because of that, more than 10, lakh, 10 crores, they have been invested into that uh, thing because it, ha it, it, it has its own uh, loss. So that's why they, they have strengthened. And pharma is one of the area now, core area. We should be strengthened in the cyber security. Then only the formulations and uh, the uh, APIs and other things will be protected properly. Their intellectual property rights and... Uh, uh, documentation part and uh, the manufacturing of the things will be protected otherwise that will be leaked and uh, uh, generic uh, medicines is going to come into the picture so that's why uh, the, uh, everything uh, in the chemical composition uh, should be taken care of. and uh, there are a lot of you know uh, professionals uh, recently we had discussion with dr redis labs uh, ciso as well as the other ciso's also we, uh, now we are, we are forming a special focus group on the pharma sector. Till now, people concentration on only in the banking, finance and securities market. Now the uh, 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 hackers uh, uh, and the security uh, uh, state sponsor people concentration diverted towards the pharma also. So that is also we should be protect. So for that, we require uh, not only knowledge, we require the skills to understand how the people are penetrating, what are the tools, techniques, and tactics they are using for that. So what kind of technologies we should have to employ over there to detect, respond, and uh, recover from any kind of thing. And in addition to that, we should start a approach called protecting methodology. So in our course, we are going to cover uh, right from protecting, detecting, recovering, and uh, uh, what kind of things we are going to do for that. So for that, uh, right from the technology aspect, people, process, policies, how to write policies, how to write uh, SOP, how to penetrate onto that, how to perform vulnerability assessment on the various uh, models, and how you're going to perform OWS, the Open Web, App, uh, Web Application Security Project 2022, top 10 vulnerabilities like uh, 
uh, uh, SQL injections, access scriptings, uh, all top 10, how you are going to uh, assess. And once we are assessed that one, how we are going to to fix that uh, with the help of vendor or any any service provider kind of thing. So what kind of uh, thing we should have to give it to them that recommendations also we are going to provide. So this is not only theoretical part, uh, uh, regularly we are going to assign you various assignments. And uh, I think last time also, last, in last time also we have given one of the task to them, how to find out and uh, uh, get into the things, then only the admission will be confirmed to them. So that's why uh, always uh, it, it is on the uh, practical orientation, no theory concepts. So how you're going to find the bugs, how you're going to detect the uh, viruses, worms in the things, and how the ransomware attacks are happening, how you're going to detect the ransomware, and how you're going to isolate that one. And in the context of any incident in the organization, how you're going to find that incident and the root cause kind of correction analysis of that uh, incident. So a lot of things uh, we are going to perform. Maybe it's going to take uh, two to three months based on your availability, uh, two to three years, uh, offline, online mode, both the things, blended model we are going to perform. <laughs> Sorry. One minute. So we have a lot of sectors not only core uh, IT sector, we have core business sectors like uh, um, banks or their insurance companies are there. India as well as the uh, other uh, MNCs also, you can work. I think we have seen one, one from the Bank of America. I think uh, we, we have done one of the work for them. Uh, There's 12,000 ATMs of their network. How you are going to protect that one, that kind of thing also we have performed along with their AB, uh, AVP. And a lot of these kind of things we are regularly we are going to perform. And uh, in addition to this, uh, there is a lot of consulting opportunities in PwC, EY, and um, uh, uh, all big fours. You can find a lot of consulting opportunities. And uh, minimum uh, education qualification, uh, we should have graduation. Then only we, we can start with them. Other qualification, thank you. We cannot uh, do because uh, require a lot of effort for that. So graduation with uh, some kind of experience we can we can consider and start working with them and uh, number of hours uh, the core topics and other things you you do not worry we'll make you assign to various assignments in real time and in addition to that we, we are going to involve you in various awareness programs uh, along with us uh, out because uh, when you're going for auditing and uh, VAPT testings kind of thing uh, we involve you in that uh, activities also, uh, semi-assignments and assignments will be given. And uh, how you're going to write that reporting also very, very important. So we'll, we'll ensure you to write that reporting. So finally, we are going to help you in and panel with uh, uh, one of the India's most prestigious one to get the assignments and involved in any of the audit. Uh, in order to perform any audit in India, you should have the empanelment with the uh, set team, that is Computer Emergency Response Team India. So we, we are going to help you. As of now, 150 organizations are empaneled with the uh, uh, <clears throat> set team, which is the government of India body. So I am I am one of the core uh, team member in that. So that is uh, one thing. And in addition to that, we, we are going to identify various uh, critical information infrastructures. Uh, how the organization is fully depending on that. So how you're going to protect that one? So what kind of laws are there for that IT Act and IT Act uh, uh, 2008 amendment as well as the 70P45 and uh, um, uh, GDPR. So how you're going to get that in, um, get uh, that uh, those things in our projects also. Few assignments are lying there. So how you're going to help Chief Digital Officer, Chief Technology Officer, and uh, chief compliance officers also. Another role now is coming up with a compliance officer and chief risk officers also. So based on your experience uh, and assignments, you will be involved into various activities. As of now, we are, we are working with one of the uh, government project called uh, project in uh, Thailand as well as Bangkok. Uh, their national uh, pension as well as the national ID project also we are, we are involving in that. So like that various assignments are there, we are going to involve you in that. 
and uh, as a part of that you are going to get a good hands up so that way uh, maybe uh, alternative days and uh, uh, you know, two to three months we are going to spend and I'm bluff uh, experience you're going to get and with good packages starts from 10, 10 lakhs you can start uh, with the good packages and settle in the career if you want to settle in this cyber security environment uh, you can start otherwise uh, uh, you can think of it so this is a uh, you know, uh, course perspective and the content perspective a lot of content uh, from the CEH perspective a lot of content from the CISP perspective CISA perspective <laughs> And OWSP, GDPR, IS for 27001, all the concepts you are going to cover. So you should become the one of the cyber uh, security expert. So uh, certified information security analyst. So that kind of environment we, we are going to give you and you're going to be equipped with that. And one, one of the important tasks is that you should have laptop along with carry box in your uh, laptop. Uh, that is the only requirement and you should have the aptitude to learn the things and complete the assignment as we are given so that that is a mandatory then only we can go uh, go ahead so this is uh, uh, about uh, the course and fee and other things you can talk to our uh, excelatics team so excelatics is providing a lot of these kind of things even excelatics is uh, uh, one of the uh, incubator in uh, uh, cyber security environment in Osmania University that is uh, OTBR, Osmania Technology Business Incubation. We are uh, part of that also. There we are we are uh, writing a lot of research related uh, uh, things for the government uh, in the prospect of information and cyber security. Uh, uh, their uh, cloud security and uh, certificate of authority kind of thing also we are helping. So with that background only we thought of creating some uh, kind of pool and skill talent for the industry. There is a lot of crunch in the uh, uh, cyber security uh, market. So professionals are not available. Only knowledge people are available. But when coming out of that, uh, we are not able to find the uh, professionals for that. So in order to increase that uh, one, we, we started this project. Our expectation is at least this year, we would like to create at least uh, the 50 to 75 professionals uh, then only we, we, we can survive for various industries so this is uh, briefly about uh, our course and other things so if you have any questions uh, over to you so this is uh, from my side <clears throat> thank you so much sir, for brief intro and uh, about the course content and the major parts of it sir uh, as you mentioned you are uh, covering the syllabus or whatever the contents or topics from various courses like CISA, CSIM, uh, these are all topics. Wherever the, the relevance is available with the cybersecurity, you just merge those topics into this course. Is it right? Yes, perfectly. Yeah, okay. And and as you mentioned, there is a, like a opportunity to learn in a real-time basis by con uh, performing uh, the writing policies, SOPs, or uh, working with the real-time projects. How, how many projects you probably uh, provide to us uh, during the course of uh, stage? At least uh, three to five projects we are going to assign you. Okay. Sir, any opportunity? Suppose once I get completed, be, being being a IT auditor, so I have a certain exposure towards these aspects. So if any opportunity comes, will you give any reference for that? For yeah, course? definitely, definitely. People are asking actually. Okay, okay. So We are not I, having the professionals. That is a yes, problem. Yes, absolutely. So I, I aware of this point uh, in the current market scenario. So based on that, I just want to uh, address and uh, equip with those knowledges, uh, knowledge and, and contents. So probably uh, the course, uh, with the duration you mentioned, like two to three months, will it be, uh, how far this will be uh, a valid period you, you think of? Uh, is there any possibility to get extend to a few more uh, weeks or months? We can, we can. This is once started, um, we can expand, we can, we can reduce based on hmm. your things. Okay, okay. Why? Because uh, once once I join this course, I want to be... Uh, so a, a once you start in, once you start in, uh, it's a personalized one. So based on your learning abilities, we can increase yeah. or we can decrease. Oh. Do not worry for that. We are flexible for that. Absolutely. Sir, can I know your uh, LinkedIn ID? If you don't mind. 
श्रीनिवास भूसारप भूसारप वन सेकंड कैन यू स्पेल द सेकंड नेम बी एच ओ ओ एस ए आर ए पी यू यस थैंक यू सर आई जस्ट वांट टू कनेक्ट ऑन लिंक्डइन एज वेल बेस्ट सर एंड एंड आई विल कीप इन कनेक्ट आई विल ट्राई टू जॉइन दिस नो प्रॉब्लम नो थैंक यू सर एनी अदर्स uh no sir thank you sarojakar i think you are not introduced hi um i'm saroja i work for amazon as the uh, chief risk manager okay. i've been with uh, amazon for little over 7 years now and um, cyber security is something that's that's keeps me uh, in fact keeps everybody on toes um specifically i was looking for anything that would well upon um topics that that would uh, keep me abreast on um security auditor thing so that's basically why i intended to have this course yes yes security aspect only we are going to cover in fact i was i was part of uh, your uh, amazon assessment uh, in one of the client along with your uh, uh, india head okay which org was this was this the retail or if it's for any business prime or Uh, one of the clients, one of the government client, when assessment has been done, I was the technical evaluator for Amazon. Oh, lovely! So, Great to know that. that. Yeah, in that context only, um, uh, we are not allowed initially Amazon, but later they are given justification that available zone in Mumbai. Mm hmm. Okay. So, so later you are extended your services in Hyderabad with the mm -hmm. outpost and uh, other things. so that mm -hmm. kind of controls has been given then only we allowed one of your customer so generally the audit for uh, purview for non amazonians it's not restricted because of the fi norms and everything so no, this financial sector actually the critical one and uh, uh, okay is it is not aware uh, uh, is not aware having its own uh, dr site in other place other than mumbai so we we restricted that one as per the government of india guidelines Ah, uh, correct. Yeah. So in this context, only your people came, and we had a lot of discussions, two, three times the deliberations and other things. Then they they told me we are going to establish a lot of controls and other things in order to to provide a protection for the data and uh, uh, data loss prevention. So that's why I think you now established in Hyderabad or. Yeah, we have a presence in Hyderabad, and that's been over like, uh, close to twelve uh, yeah. years plus now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. um that's around again finance as you right rightly said uh, all the financial processing systems from here are being processed worldwide yeah i was part of that team oh Committee. great uh so my my questions are probably the the topics that would interest me definitely is around cyber security and what kind of i would say vigilance we will have to uh, be mindful of um, in yeah, terms all of all three all three clouds will give you all the technical aspects Mm -hmm. And or uh, uh, audit aspect also, because I audited all three clouds uh, mm -hmm. for the empanelment of my team. So do not worry for that. Thank you. That's helpful. Okay, quickly. I joined a little late. I had trouble actually getting into this um, Zoom. Uh, Um, okay did you talk about the specifically what is the curriculum that gets covered and what is the period of coverage maybe if you have a brochure kind of a thing if will, will that be okay that you can share it with this group yeah they'll share it yeah thank you any others so all Thank you for your information. Uh, I think I'm not eligible by your course right, but I'm interested very well in your course. So I'm currently graduate graduating. So can you tell me basics to I have to learn to join your course for the moment? Basic uh, network related. Uh, <laughs> That's enough. Start with networking, yeah. and whatever you have in your uh, uh, graduation level subjects in the computers. Try to learn that. Okay. Okay. Shall we close for the day? Yeah.
any other any any anybody is having any questions no sir thank you okay no question sir but i will look forward for that detailed brochure along with the fee details and everything so that we know when the next batch is going to start how does the curriculum look like what sessions or what topics would get covered there so it will be helpful yeah definitely thank you okay thank you thanks a lot thank you Thank you so much.